Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we will be talking about obstetric forceps. So, when uh, somebody asks you about forceps, you should remember that if we classify forceps, it can be grouped into rotational forceps, low cavity forceps, mid cavity forceps and outlet forceps. So, rotational forceps or key length forceps which used to be uh, uh, you know historically used nowadays it is not used in modern obstetrics was used when the head was not engaged in the pelvis so when the head was more than two-fifth palpable then rotational forceps have to be used because head has to be rotated then comes the mid cavity forceps when the presenting part is at zero to plus two station then you apply mid cavity forceps Low cavity forceps are applied when the head is at plus 2 and plus 3 station and outlet forceps or release forceps like this one is applied when the head has come to the perineum that is plus 4 and plus 5 station and the head is already rotated so it is in the anteroposterior direction or within 45 degrees. This is the release forceps which consists of two uh, blades the left and the right one. If you look at the blades, so the left blade will be held by the left hand and it will, the blades will go towards the left maternal thigh. Similarly, the right blade will be held by the right hand of the operator and it will go to the right maternal thigh. So each blade will consist of, this is the blade, the actual blade which is fenestrated which helps in easy gripping with the fetal head then you have the shank which increases to the length of the forceps so that you apply less force for making the uh, torque then you have the blade the blade which is used in forceps is english kind of blade whereby the left blade will be inserted first followed by the right blade from above so this is the english lock then you have the handle so you hold it by the handle there are two curves in this uh, forceps. One is the cephalic curve. This is the cephalic curve. And this is the pelvic curve. Mind you, this is the pelvic curve. So, when you keep the uh, forceps on the table, the forceps, the toe of the forceps will not touch the table, but it is turned upwards. So, this curve is the pelvic curve. Indications of forceps application can be divided into maternal, fetal and other indications. Maternal indications can be inadequate expulsive effort of the mother or maternal exhaustion or distress during second stage of labor or where expulsive efforts or valsalva have to be avoided like in cardiac diseases or hypertensive crisis or cerebrovascular diseases. Fetal causes can be non-reassuring fetal heart rate after coming head of breach where burn martial method or Mauritius Mele weight technique cannot be used or when there is suspicion of fetal compromise. Other indications can be prolonged second stage of labor that is more than two hours in uh, primary gravida and more than one hour in multi gravida without uh, epidural and one hour with additional epidural. The prerequisites of forceps delivery are Fetal head should be well engaged, that is less than 2 fifth palpable per abdominally. The cervix must be fully dilated. Membranes must be ruptured. The fetal head position should be exactly known. Pelvis should be adequate. So, pelvic adequacy examination has to be done before. Bladder has to be emptied. Adequate maternal analgesia is must. And an informed written consent has to be taken from the mother. Uh, we also need to have the experienced obstetrician with aseptic precautions and backup of good neonatologist, a good anesthetist and full OT team ready. So, how to apply the forceps? First of all, we will take the left blade. Now, left blade is taken such that you hold it by the left hand and it will be inserted by resting it against the right hand so you hold it in a pen holding fashion and insert the right blade by a downward movement followed by pushing it across the fetal head so that it grips into the left maternal thigh 
then you ask your assistant to hold the blade now you take the right forceps the right blade right blade will be held by the right hand in a pen holding fashion it will be inserted by guidance of the left hand with your two fingers you push it from above downwards into the pelvis through the sacral hollow and then push it across the right maternal thigh now if your placement is proper then the blades will get locked very easily so this is how you lock the blades sometimes if there is some difficulty in locking the blades you can just push the blades downward so that they'll be locked so this is biparietal bimalar application across the fetal head application can be of two types it can be either cephalic application or it can be pelvic application generally the pelvic application is applied so that we apply it by looking at the maternal pelvis the direction of pull will be downwards forwards and upwards resembling the curve of carus in case of low and mid cavity forceps but in case of outlet forceps like this the Wrigley's forceps the direction of pull will be forwards and upwards because the downward course the fetal head has already traveled the complications of forceps application can be immediate and can be delayed immediate complications can be vaginal laceration or there can be perineal tear vault injury or there can be nerve injuries like femoral or lumbosacral trunk injuries or postpartum hemorrhage because of injury that is trauma anesthetic complications can be there if there is some local anesthesia given and which can lead to complications or there can be maternal morbidity and puerperal sepsis Distant or remote complications can be painful perineal scars, dyspareunia, low backache, genital prolapse, stress urinary incontinence and anal sphincter dysfunction. So, expert obstetrician should be performing forceps delivery. But we should not forget the art of forceps delivery and we should revive operative delivery. For more information, remain updated to our channel Medimantra.